Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create bundle products in Magento 2. So a bundle product is a build your own customizable product. Each item in a bundle can be based on the following product types that are the simple or virtual products without custom options. Also different input controls can be set up for selection of the items at the product page like drop down where the customer can select only one option, radio button, the same goes with the radio button as well, checkbox, multiple options can be selected and multi-select that also allows the customers to select multiple options at the product page using the different input controls there. So basically the bundled items can be simple or virtual products without custom options. Price wave can be set to either price range or as low as SKU and weight can either be fixed or dynamic as per the requirement there and the bundled items can be shipped together or separately. In case of together you'll have to set up the main source or the same source should be assigned to the bundled products in case if you are uh, shipping the bundled products together there. So let's get ahead and let's see how this particular bundle product can be created in Magento 2. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So as an example, first of all, let me show you I've created a customizable mouse bundle product here, as you can see. And the price range is from $109 to $235 there. So if I tap on this mouse bundle product, we'll be able to see the different options there. But before we see the options there, you can see that here we have the price range that's from and to values. And on the bundle product page, here we have a button for customizing and adding the options to the card there. So I'll tap here on customize and add to card. And here you can see that here we have the customize uh, customizable mouse bundle product so from here we can customize the bundle product that we have created and here you can see that here I've created one option with the name choose mouse type and I've added simple products within the same that is wireless mouse and wired mouse the same goes with choose battery type so I've selected one uh, non rechargeable simple product and one uh, rechargeable battery that's a simple product so here you can see that we can create a bundle as per our own requirement. Uh, for example, you can create a customizable Sprite Yoga Companion Kit and you can provide the Sprite Stasis Ball and uh, the ball could have different uh, di uh, dimensions there and each dimension would be a simple product. So here we have created the option as Sprite Status Ball and we have added the three different simple products to it. Same goes with the other radio button option. We have provided Sprite Yoga Strap and one is six uh, foot, eight foot and 10 foot there. And we have also added the Stripe Foam Yoga Brick as you can see as one uh, standalone product there. And after the selection on the right hand side, we can under the summary, we can see the selections that we have made for the different options of the bundle product there. So same goes with this as well. So if I choose here as wireless mouse, you can see that the under the summary we have chosen the wireless mouse if i go with the non rechargeable battery that would be added here under the summary as well if i want i can go with the rechargeable battery as well so all in all you can create a bundle uh, product and provide the options and uh, here you can see that we have to choose the different uh, products under each of the options that we have created for example choose mouse type so we can choose between wide uh, or wireless mouse, choose battery type, we can choose between a uh, rechargeable and a non-rechargeable battery as well. So this is just for the demo purposes there, I have shown this particular example there for your better understanding. And after that you can tap here on the add to cart button to add the products into the cart. So these products will be added into the cart as you can see uh, as a single product here with the different options with the quantity one as you can see and here we have the uh, choose mouse type as wireless mouse has been selected choose battery type non rechargeable and the rechargeable battery types have been selected for the particular bundle product there now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin would be able to initially create the bundle product in the Magento 2 
For that, let's hop onto the admin backend panel of the Magento 2 and let's log into the backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. After we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel, as you can see, what we need to do is we need to first create simple or virtual products for our uh, bundle product that we are going to create. So I've already created the particular ones under the product section. So let me show you that. So under the products here, you will be able to see the different ones that I've already created. So let the products appear. So here you can see that I have the battery rechargeable, battery non-rechargeable. And if I just uh, filter it out uh, and uh, I'll be able to see the other products as well that were there. So the mouse and the other one is also visible there. So let's now let's see how the admin would be able to create the bundle product. For that you need to navigate through catalog and products. And here from the drop down you need to select a bundled product. After selecting the bundled product, the new product page would appear wherein we have to enter the different details for the new product. So here what we'll be doing is we'll be choosing the attribute set for our uh, uh, bundled product. We'll be giving the name of the bundled product. Let me do one thing. Let me go ahead and let me go to first products and let me delete the bundled product that I had cre already created there. So here let me uh, bring that section up and let me just uh, check this out this one is the bundle product that i had created let me delete this one by selecting the delete option here let's tap ok let me go to the main uh, category there for the watches once again so the product has been deleted as you can see so here you can see that we have a wireless mouse a wired mouse a battery uh, that is rechargeable and a non-rechargeable battery as well so i'll be creating a bundle product for the mouse bundle and we'll be having the two different options one will be having the choose mouse type and one will be having the choose battery type for the mouse bundle product there itself so now uh, as i've deleted the particular one that i already created now i'll just go ahead and i'll just create the bundle product by selecting the bundle product this would bring up the new product page so here I'll be choosing the attribute set uh, for the bundle product and we'll be giving the name for the bundle product. Let's set it as to uh, uh, mouse bundle product for example. Then you can have the SKU as dynamic or you can have the SKU by entering the SKU as well. So we'll set it to dynamic SKU. So whichever simple products or virtual products that would be adding into the bundle product, their SKU would be used. Uh, then we can set the price as uh, dynamic or we can enter the price manually as well So if we are setting the price as dynamic then the price of the simple and the virtual products that we have used within uh, the bundle product uh, Their price would be used as it is otherwise you can set the price here for the main base product and when you are adding the options here uh, and adding the products to the option at that time you'll be able to set the price of those products in a different manner as well apart from the ones uh, that uh, or the price that is actually assigned to those products you can uh, basically edit that pr price if you set the dynamic price as no so for this example we'll be going with the dynamic price itself so we don't need to enter the quantity we'll just set the stock as in stock the weight would be used for the simple and the virtual products automatically there here we'll be choosing the category for the particular bundle product uh, we'll be setting the country of manufacture and the rest of the basic details now you can ship the bundles item together or separately uh, if it's separately then there is no issue but if it's together then uh, the main or the same source should be assigned to all of the bundle products there only then you will be able to ship the bundle items together all together there then uh, after you have configured these things like the product name SKU set the dynamic SKU as yes, dynamic price as yes, stock status as in stock, dynamic weight as yes, select the category there, come down, choose the option here whether you want to ship the bundle items together or separately, then tap here on the add options button. That will bring up this particular section wherein we can give the option title for the customers. 
So here I'll set it as choose mouse type. We'll set it as radio buttons and I'll add products to it by tapping on the add products to the same. This will bring up this particular section as you can see to select the products. So here I have the wired mouse and the wireless mouse. I'll select these two ones and I'll tap here on the add selected products. So here you can see that we have the default quantity as one and we can set it as to user defined as well as per the requirement there. Then I'll tap here on the add option once again. I'll set it as choose battery type and I'll set it as add products to options. So here what we are doing, we are creating the options and we are adding products to the options there, right? So I'll select these two products and I'll tap here on the add selected. So I'll set it as user defined for both of them. I'll set it as checkbox for the time being. So now one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, that if we set the dynamic price as no, then we have to set the base price. And here you'll see that we'll get one price section, wherein you can set the price of the options that you have created or the products of the options for those you can set the price as per your own requirement there and the price can be of fixed or percentage as per the requirement there otherwise if you have set the dynamic price as yes then the particular simple and the virtual products that you have used to create the options there their uh, respective prices would be used so uh, for example if I take you to the front then if it's 102 for the wired mouse $99 for the wired mouse then the same price would be used for the wireless mouse and the wired mouse and same goes with the battery rechargeable and the battery non rechargeable as well. Now after you're done here uh, with adding the options under the bundle item section, uh, you can go with the other sections as well to complete the uh, details of the product. So for now I'll be just adding one image uh, to this particular pro bundle product. So I'll just add one image to it. And I'll tap here on the save button to save the bundled product. Now as soon as the product has been saved, we can go to the front end and we can build the particular product at the particular category to which we have assigned this product to. So the mouse bundle product has been saved. And if I scroll down here, we have two options that we have created. One is the choose mouse type that is of input type radio button and choose battery type that is of checkbox option right and this option is having two simple products within it that's the wireless mouse and wired mouse and the choose battery type is option is having the two different products that are simple products that are battery rechargeable and battery non rechargeable as well this can be of simple or the virtual types as per your own requirement there now let me refresh the store front end so here we are having the mouse bundle product and it's showing the prices from $109 to $235. So if I tap on that, we'll be able to see the mouse bundle product. And here we can see the customize and add to cart option button. So if I tap on customize and add to, bar, add to cart button, we'll be able to see this section that says customize the product name that it was mouse bundle product. So we have to customize the mouse bundle product. So here we can choose between the options like choose mouse type and choose battery type. So we can go with the wireless and we can go with uh, two of the options because this is a checkbox one. So we can select multiple options under the choose battery type. This is a radio type of uh, the option. So we can only choose one like wired or wireless one. And according to the selections here, you can see that the price is automatically changing here. So if I tap on the wireless mouse, it's for $102, wired mouse is for $99, right? If I go with the battery as well, uh, rechargeable, that would be added $123 plus $99, that is $222. Uh, if I go with the wired mouse and the battery uh, not rechargeable, it would be for $109. If I select both, it would be $232 uh, there, right? Or I can go with the wired mouse as well then it would be showing $235 that's the top price that is being displayed here uh, to the customers within the range there and then we can tap here on the add card button to add the particular selections to the card there after adding the selections uh, to the card there 
after engaging with cart you can see that we have the simple uh, or the single product there that's the mouse bundle product and if i tap on the details here we have chosen two different options one is the choose mouse type uh, that is one wireless mouse and choose battery type we have chosen the battery uh, rechargeable and the non uh, non rechargeable battery and altogether the price of the bundle product is 235 dollars with the quantity one you can update this quantity as per your own requirement there and then you can tap here on the proceed to check out button to proceed with the check out there so yes that was much about how to create the bundle products in magento 2 and i hope it helped you out in understanding the same so basically a bundle is a build your own customizable product and each item in a bundle can be based on the simple or virtual products without custom options uh, different input controls can be set up for selection of the items at the product page like drop down radio button checkbox and multi select so yes i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead